Hello, everyone. I am Vanessa. Thank you so much for joining me as I am subbing here today for Miss Haley. She was not able to um, do the class this morning, so I hopped on in. We're going to need a couple of items in our session today, but the items are optional. Maybe a, a pillow, a long pillow for comfort. You may also use a yoga strap, so feel free to grab one of those, and maybe a yoga block. And once again, all of these items are option. And once we gather all of our supplies, may we find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we use this seated pose to ground our bodies here today, maybe placing our palms on our laps with our palms face downward. Ensuring that our abdominals, our core muscles are nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long, meaning elongated. We don't want to have a sunken back. We want to be nice and tall, having control of our body. Maybe allowing our shoulders to relax downward away from our ears. With our eyes gazed down or closed. Using the down gaze to help us center and relax in our moments. As we breathe in through the nose, hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice what the breath does to the body. Taking a moment to realize how the down gaze helps us go inwards. And may we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum with our eyes gaze down, noticing how this feels within the mind and the body. And may we hang out here in our seated prayer for four breaths of silent meditation. Two more breaths. We are becoming more present in this moment. Taking note of how we feel as we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, breathing our fingertips up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Our spinal cord gets nice and elongated here. Chin slightly up, heart chakra is open, feeling the stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, feeling this spinal twist here. We're going to hang out here, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, coming into a seated star, our palms are off to the side. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is slightly up. Noticing how we feel we are in our star. Two breaths. Breathe in. Bringing our palms above our head to our salute. Palms are connected. Noticing how this feels. Deep breath. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that shoulder, feeling the spinal twist here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to our star, heart chakras up, chin is slightly up. As we breathe to our salute, Exhale to our prayer, bringing our palms back at heart center, relaxing our shoulders down away from our ears, ensuring that our spinal cords are still nice and elongated here. Two breaths. Exhaling our palms down towards our side. Our palms are touching the earth. We are using our palms to connect with our environment. 
noticing what's going on around us, feeling the energies and the vibrations of our current moment. Taking notice of what is going on around us without judgment, simply being aware. And during our session today, we may, we may hear sounds, we may become distracted. Whatever it may be, may we take notice of what is going on without judgment. Only allowing in the sounds and situations that are soothing for us in our practice here today. As we breathe our palms back up above our heads in our salute, Exhaling back down to prayer as we allow our fingertips to touch our shoulders. Spinal cord is nice and long, core is tight. As we do a couple of shoulder rolls towards the back, we are working on loosening up the upper parts of our bodies here. And we can go as fast or as slow as we choose here in our shoulder shrugs, our shoulder rolls, shall I say. Three more breaths. As we find our pause at center and roll our shoulders forward in the opposite direction. Maybe gazing our eyes down, focusing on the moment and how we feel. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, May we straighten our arms out to the side. We're gonna to continue to work on the upper parts of our bodies, building strength on the upper levels here. And maybe now we can rotate our arms towards the back, doing circular rotations, going as fast or as slow as we choose to go. And we may already feel in our arms starting to feel the burn. This just goes to show that little movements, little motions can have a profound effect on the body. Slow and steady is better than nothing at all. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, feeling a burn, we're gonna keep on going, rotating our arms in the opposite direction, taking notice of how this feels. And maybe we can try to do nice big shoulder rolls and take notice of how the bigger rolls feel as opposed to the smaller rolls. And may we do what feels best for us in our bodies at this very moment. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, breathing our palms above our head and our salute, fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. As we breathe in and interlace our palms together, feeling that stretch, maybe our heart chakra comes forward, chin comes slightly up. Arms fall slightly to the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend here. This pose is a counter stretch to what we just did, noticing how it relaxes and soothes the shoulders and the upper parts of our bodies. Three breaths. Allowing our shoulder blades to completely relax here. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to salute, our spinal cord is nice and long. Breathing down to our prayer as we allow our palms to relax on the sides of our bodies. Once again, connecting our fingertips to the earth, feeling the vibrations of our environment. As we work on a C spine, right side, allowing our bodies to lean towards the right. Tummy's nice and tight, spinal cord is nice and long. Feeling this C spine. And if we choose, we can bring our left arm over our head as our head relaxes downward towards our shoulder, feeling that stretch, maybe we can allow our shoulder to relax downward to the earth even more, noticing how this allows our body to go closer towards the earth. Two breaths. And if we choose, and if this is in our practice, maybe we can slightly gaze up at our arm at our left hand. Noticing how that opens up our heart chakra a little bit more. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes in this gaze. Three breaths.
as we breathe in. Exhale into center. Both of our palms are on the earth, checking in with our bodies. As we see spine opposite side, allowing our bodies to lean towards the left, maybe reaching that right arm over the head, feeling that full C spine stretch. Our head is relaxed downward towards our shoulder. Maybe allowing our shoulder to melt closer towards the earth, going deeper into that C spine if we're able. Two breaths. And if it's in our practice, maybe we can slightly gaze up at that right arm, right hand, opening up our heart chakra a little more. Maybe gazing our eyes down for a couple of breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale to center, placing both of our palms on the earth, taking a moment to connect to the earth, to connect to our environment, to connect to ourselves within. Fingertips are touching the earth. Eyes are gazed down. Spinal cord is nice and long. Three breaths, silent meditation. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. As we bring our feet into a bound position, coming into a butterfly or a diamond pose. Noticing the difference between the two, in a diamond pose, our feet are further away from our bodies. And in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. These poses here are hip openers. It works our hip flexors. So maybe taking a moment and playing around with the diamond and the butterfly and seeing which pose feels best for you and your body at this moment. Allowing our hands to relax downward on our ankles or our feet. Our heart chakra is up and maybe we can slightly lift our chin up, feeling this slight back bend coming into a cow pose. And if we choose, maybe we can allow our head to fall backwards between our shoulder blades. Noticing how our heart chakra comes up even more. Two breaths. Exhaling down to cow. Our chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. <sighs> Relaxing the body as we breathe back up to our cow. And maybe we can do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, and we're gonna work on going a little bit more deeper into our hip flexors here. Maybe we can slightly hinge at the hips by bringing our torso towards our feet, coming downward towards the earth as much as we comfortably can. Taking notice of how this feels in our inner thighs and in our hips. And if we are in our butterfly, if this is very tight, maybe trying to come into the diamond, and we'll see that we can get closer down towards the earth. And maybe hang out here for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we use our hands to push our torso up away from our thighs, and we're gonna come into a staff pose, straightening our legs side by side, parallel. This staff pose is a counter pose to what we just did. Maybe we can breathe our palms above our head and our salute, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord's nice and long, core is tight. Breathe in. Exhale the prayer. As we hinge at our hips, allowing our torso to relax downward towards our thighs. Maybe closing our eyes, noticing how this feels in our in our thighs, in our hips. Once again, this is a counter pose to what we just did. And then we hang out here for three more breaths. Exhaling up to a half forward fold. 
Our heart chakra is slightly up. Noticing how this feels, noticing the difference of the feelings in our bodies when we're in a complete forward fold and when we are in a half forward fold. Maybe just taking a moment to notice how each of those poses feel within a body. Two more breaths. As we exhale back up to our staff pose, maybe we can widen our legs, spreading our legs apart, kind of coming into a wide-legged staff pose. We're going to continue to work on opening up our hips here. And if we choose, maybe we can slightly just rock our bodies. Right hand goes towards the right toes. And then rocking our bodies towards the opposite direction. Left hand goes towards the left toes. And noticing how this feels here in our inner thighs. These are subtle, mo subtle movements here designed to open up and take our bodies to new levels. And if we're able, only if we're able, we can reach down to the bottoms of our feet or maybe we could just reach down to our ankles, whatever we can comfortably reach to. We're gonna do a couple more of these rotations. Going as fast or as slow as we choose to go. Fill in the movements and fill in the poses in the body. Two more breaths. As we bring our right hand towards our right ankle or our right feet. We're gonna just allow our torso to relax over that right leg if we're able. Just going down as much as we comfortably can. Feeling that stretch. Taking nice natural breaths. Maybe noticing how the breath relaxes the body and allow our bodies to go deeper in a pose. And if we choose, maybe we can slightly gaze at our left shoulder just slightly like we're gazing up at the heavens. And maybe we can bring that left arm up in the air and slightly gaze at that left hand, feeling that stretch. Noticing how this feels, ensuring that we are keeping our spinal cord nice and long. And if we're able, maybe we can allow our right hand to come closer towards the earth, which means our thighs go closer. Yes, our torso goes closer towards our thighs. And feeling this stretch here, and if it's in our practice, maybe we can reach that left hand downward towards our right toes. Feeling that stretch even more. Just, just reaching down and feeling that nice deep stretch here. Whatever we're able to do in this stretch, three more breaths. As we breathe back to center, Relaxing the body, maybe hinging at the hips, feeling the right hip opener right here, slightly hinging at the hips. Two breaths. As we come back up, we're going to take our left hand and reach our left hand down to our ankle, our left ankle, or our left foot, whatever we can get to comfortably. We're going to allow our torso to relax over that thigh, feeling it stretch. Maybe taking nice natural breaths here, allowing our bodies to completely relax. And if we choose, we can slightly gaze over that right shoulder, opening up our heart chakra. And maybe bringing our right arm up in the air, slightly gazing up at that right arm, feeling that stretch. Allowing our torso to come as close to our leg as we comfortably can. We're going to hang out here for a couple breaths. And if we choose, allowing our left hand to come closer towards the earth. As we reach our left hand down over our head, over towards our left foot, feeling that stretch if we're able. We're going to hang out here for a couple breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, hinging at our hips, noticing how this feels, gazing our eyes down, two breaths. Bringing our legs back forward, coming to our staff pose. Hinging at our hips one more time, reaching our hands downward towards our ankles or our feet. You may notice that you are able to go closer towards your thighs after doing those stretches, maybe. Two breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold. 
as we breathe back to our staff pose. Slightly crossing our feet at our ankles as we come into a tabletop position. We are now on our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Our core, we have control of our core. Tummy's nice and tight here. Our arms are nice and straight as we drop down to our cow, slightly bringing our tummies towards the earth. Chin comes slightly up, noticing how this feels in our cervical spine, I'm sorry, in our lumbar spine, lower back. As we exhale to our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up to the, to the heavens. Exhaling back to our cow. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're gonna slightly come, up, come on back down to our cow, just slightly coming down to that little curvature in our spine. Maybe widening our legs just a little bit more as we do a couple of circular rotations at our hips. Working on that lumbar part, our lower spinal cord here, noticing how this feels. Our tummies are nice and tight. We are simply just rotating our bodies at our hips. This is a relaxing, soothing, and easygoing pose. Two more breaths. And maybe we can find our pause and try to do the rotations in the opposite direction, noticing how that feels. You may notice that one rotation feels different than the other. Two more breaths. Yes, relaxing and soothing here, allowing our bodies to relax as we find our pause. And maybe we can bring that right leg out towards the back, feeling that stretch, lifting that right leg up nice and high as we are squeezing our gluteus maximus, yes. Working on rounding and lifting that buns, our buns of steel. Noticing how that feels when we lift that leg up. With both our palms still flat on the earth, maybe we can do a couple of pulses. Lifting that leg up, working and rounding our gluteus maximus if we're able. For anyone who is not able, feel free to lower those toes downward towards the earth and just relax out here. Those who are pulsing, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause coming into our bird pose, we're just gonna straighten that leg straight out towards the back. Keeping in mind that we can always lower those toes downward towards the earth. As we breathe that left arm forward, now we are in our full sun bird. Gazing forward, core is nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here, building strength and balance, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, filling our lungs with air. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. We're gonna work our bodies here, getting nice and warm. Knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, holding it in, two breaths, feeling our bodies balance. Exhale, back to bird, breathing to our table. As we drop down to our cow, relaxing the body. Hanging out in cow, two breaths, chin slightly up, back is sunken. Exhaling to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord up at the heavens. Flowing back to our table as we bring that left leg towards the back now. Lifting that left leg up nice and high, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch, rounding and lifting up our buttocks here. Noticing how this feels. Keeping in mind that we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth if this is not in our practice. For those who have that leg nice and high, maybe we can do a couple of courses. Lifting and rounding our gluteus maximus. We're gonna do a couple breaths here. Gazing forward, core is nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're just gonna straighten that leg straight out to the back, or we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. As we extend that right arm forward, we are coming into our full sunburn here. Gazing forward. <sighs> Tummy's nice and tight. Balancing and strengthening here. Four more breaths. Two 
two more breaths. As we breathe in, fill in our lungs with air. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Holding it in, two breaths. Back to bird. As we flow to our table, knees or hip distance apart, dropping down to our cow. Chin slightly up, feel like this little slight back bend here as we flow to our cat. Coming back to our table. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer. We're gonna work on the thread the needle starting on the right side. Maybe if we choose, we can feel that arm go up in the air, opening up that heart chakra, feeling that stretch before we thread our right arm through our left. Heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Gazing our eyes down, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward, completely relaxing in its pose. And maybe we can take our left arm and wrap it around our backs or extend that left arm over our head. Whatever feels good for you and your thread and needle. We're gonna hang out here for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table as we drop down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Rowing back to our table as we thread that needle opposite side. And if we choose, before we thread that needle, we can feel that left arm reach up towards the heavens, opening up that heart chakra, feeling that stretch before we thread that left arm through the right. Heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Eyes are closed, the gaze down. Keeping in mind that we can take our right hand and wrap it around our backs if we choose. We we'll extend that right arm above our heads on the floor. As our shoulders are melted forward and our eyes are gazed down. May we hang out here for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table as we drop down to our cow. Exhale into our cat, flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our first down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that deep stretch. And if we choose, we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs from side to side, noticing how this feels. We are building strength here in our upper bodies. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna shift our bodies forward, coming into a high plank or a low plank, if that feels good for you. We are continuing to build strength here. Gazing forward, core, our tummy's nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we exhale to up dog, slightly coming forward, a little bit more, we're in our up dog. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. Noticing the difference between an up dog and a cobra. In our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. As we float down to our cobra, in a cobra, our thighs are on the earth. That is the difference between the two. And noticing the baby cobra is when we bend our elbows. See that there? Now we are in our baby cobra. 
So we just transitioned from that up dog to cobra to baby cobra. As we flow down to our Sphinx pose, coming more on our tummies, our Sphinx pose, we are on our forearms, yes. This is a slight back bend here in our Sphinx. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed away from our ears, have a control of our bodies, yes. So our heart chakra's up, our body is not sunken, we have control. See that there, shoulders are away from the ears. Chin slightly up, eyes are gazed down. This is a resting pose as well as a slight back bend. Two breaths. Maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Noticing what that breath does to the body. As we come back to our baby cobra, bringing our palms towards our chest, we are in our baby cobra. Our elbows are bent here. We are in our baby cobra. As we flow up to our cobra, meaning we are straightening our elbows out a little bit more. Before we flow to our up dog, we are taking our thighs off the earth. Chin slightly up, heart chakra is opened. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe walking our dog by pedaling our feet. As we flow back to our high plank. We are building strength in our, in our upper bodies here. And we're gonna flow down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the earth, two breaths. Exhaling back up to that baby cobra. Breathing to that cobra. Exhale up dog. As we flow back to down dog. Mm. Pedal on our feet, walking our dog if we choose. Ah, two more breaths, building strength here. As we flow on down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin, giving our arms a little break here. We are in our dolphin pose. Maybe walking our feet closer towards our torso. Gazing back at our feet. Noticing how in our dolphin, our buttocks comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. This is a headstand prep pose. May we hang out here in dolphin for more breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide legged knee, knee stance. And maybe we can flow into a wide legged child's pose or a puppy pose. Huh, noticing how this feels in our bodies. Heart chakras re relax down with eyes are closed or gaze down. Taking this pose to relax and soothe and regulate our heartbeat. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Mm. And if we're in our child's pose, maybe flow into a puppy pose. And if we're in our puppy pose, maybe flow into a child's pose. Taking notice of the difference between the two. In our child's pose, our legs are widened. Our torso is relaxed between our thighs and our buttocks is near the heels of our feet. That is our child's pose. In our puppy pose, our feet, our legs are closer together. Our buttocks is high in the air and our heart chakra is downward towards the earth. Yes. <sighs> Allowing our bodies to continue to relax here with our eyes being still and closed. And maybe taking a moment to notice how our bodies feel in the child's pose and in the puppy pose. Four more breaths. Two more breaths.
with our palms, our arms extended in front of us, palms are placed or placed flat on the earth. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side, feeling that stretch. As we find our pause, palms are placed flat on the earth and we're gonna use our palms to spinal wave our bodies, using our palms to push our torsos forward and using our palms to push our torso backwards. Buttocks comes towards the heels of our feet. Yes, so we are now spinal waving. You'll feel this in your spinal cord. And our tummy, our cores are nice and tight here. And maybe we can move our head into the spinal wave, working on our cervical spine, our neck here. So just maybe noticing how this feels if we add our head into the movements. Or maybe add some circular rotations into the movement. Having a little bit of fun here in our spinal rotations, our spinal waves. Adding our head and our neck into the mix. Maybe rotating our hips into circular rotations if that feels good. Two more breaths. <sighs> Going back to our spinal waves as we were doing circular rotations. Spinal waving it as we find our bodies at pause at table time, bringing our knees back together. We're gonna drop down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table as we come up to that down dog, gazing back at our feet. Coming into a three-legged right side, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high, gazing back at that foot. Feeling that stretch. And maybe we can bend our left, I'm sorry, our right foot towards our left buttocks, opening up that hip. This is a hip opener here. And we can hang out here or go back into down dog or we can flow into- Flow into a wild thing. Dropping over. <sighs> yes. Feeling that stretch, nice deep back bend. <sighs> Two more breaths. Noticing how this wild thing feels in the body. As we flow out, come into our down dog, gazing back at our feet. And we're gonna keep on flowing here. Maybe pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Before we flow back into that three-legged opposite side, left leg is in the air nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Maybe bending that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. And for those who choose, we can flow over into a wild thing or come down to a down dog. Whatever you choose, <sighs> feeling this stretch here if we're in our wild thing. This is a full body stretch as well as a super deep back bend. Two more breaths. As we exhale out, coming to our down dog, <sighs> dropping down to our dolphin, coming on to our knees coming into a wide-legged child's pose, puppy pose, giving our bodies a moment's rest here. Three more breaths. Maybe taking a couple of nice, deep, intentional breaths here in this pose. Eyes are gaze down, look close. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Placing our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spine away our bodies out of this child's pose. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Breathing our right foot to our right hand. We are in our runner's lunge here. <sighs> Noticing how this runner's lunge feels within the body. Yes. Hanging out here, two breaths. <sighs> Maybe bringing this right arm inside of that leg. Now we are more like in our lizard pose. Right arm is inside the leg. Noticing how this feels. And we can drop down, coming deeper in that lizard if we want, coming onto our forearms. Or we can bring that block in front of us and relaxing the lizard on the block. This won't be such a, of a deep hip opener. Or we can just stay up on both of our palms and our lizard, whatever feels good for you. <sighs> this lizard pose prepares the body for split. Two more breaths. Now 
Let's do a bonus of two more breaths here. Lizard pose. <sighs> Pushing our bodies up. We are, both of our palms are flat on the earth. We are still in our lizard, but not deep lizard here. Hanging out here, two breaths, noticing how we feel in our bodies. If all feels well, may we do a low lunge twist, revolve twist, twisting our bodies towards that right leg. Right arm goes up in the air, gazing up at that arm. We are in a low lunge twist, but this is called a revolve twist because our bodies are twisted towards our leg. Gazing up, natural breaths here. Two more breaths. Exhaling that hand back inside of our thigh. Noticing how we feel as we shift our bodies opposite direction, low lunge twist. Bringing that left arm up in the air, gazing up at that arm. Now we are in our revolve, I'm sorry, our low lunge twist. Yes, feeling this stretch. Three more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling back to center. <sighs> we are back in our lizard pose. As we breathe our hands, as we breathe our legs back to our down dog, <sighs> gazing at our feet. Maybe cut on our feet, walking our dog, if that feels good for us. As we find our pause, we're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna breathe that left foot to that left hand. Front is lined, opposite side. Yes. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. <sighs> As we bring that left hand inside of our thigh, we are now in our lizard pose, noticing how this feels. Two breaths. And we can stay in this lizard here if we choose, or we can go deeper by coming down to our four ones. Or if this is too deep, we can come on a yoga block in front of us and be in our lizard. Yes. Hanging out here, noticing the difference between the two. And I see some people in that lizard and they have their, their opposite leg down on the earth. And some people have their leg off the earth. Yes. So whatever lizard feels good for you. <sighs> four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. <sighs> Preparing our bodies for split on the opposite side. As we come up out of that lizard, just slightly placing both palms on the earth, pushing our bodies up, hanging out here for a couple breaths, seeing how we feel. And if all feels well, we could do a revolved twist, twisting our bodies towards that left leg. Left arm goes up in the air, gazing up at that left hand if you choose. Still in this stretch. Maybe take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. Allowing the breath to calm and soothe the body. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, both palms are on the earth. Noticing how we feel, if all is well, twisting our bodies opposite side, no lunge twist. Right one goes up in the air, gazing up at that hand, feeling the stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, both palms are flat on the earth as we breathe back down dog. Flowing into a three-legged dog, bringing that right leg in the air. Right, three-legged dog, right side. As we breathe that right foot forward, coming into a pigeon pose, bringing that right, that right foot forward. Yes, pigeon pose. Yes, there we go. We're gonna use this pigeon pose to relax and soothe. Maybe flow down to a sleeping pigeon. If we have our pillows, feel free to bring it in front of you and relax here. The pillow is an option. We don't have to use the pillow. Maybe gaze in our eyes down or closing our eyes as our heart chakra melts downward towards our thigh. Taking natural breaths here. Maybe do four breaths of silent meditation. Hmm. 
shoulder blades are melted forward. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleeping pigeon, placing both palms on the earth as we push our torsos up away from that thigh, going into a back bend here. Notice how this feels in our spine. As we softly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist, two breaths, exhaling back to center as we gaze over that left shoulder, maybe taking our left hand and placing that left hand on our left leg. Feeling that spinal twist and body stretch here. Mm. Yes, and I see some people already doing it. If you choose, you can lift up that leg and come into a pigeon. I'm sorry, a mermaid, a king pigeon, pigeon, whatever feels good for you. And we can also use an option in this mermaid pose, king pigeon, by using a strap. If we choose, we can place this strap underneath our foot and bring our feet towards our bodies. If that feels good, coming into our king pigeon or coming into our mermaid, whatever feels good for you. This is a deep back bend here. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we relax out of that pose, straightening out that back leg, bringing our bodies forward, bringing our torso forward as we flow down to the sleeping pigeon for just two breaths. Just taking a moment to check in with our bodies, ensuring we did not injure ourselves in our king pigeon or mummy. If all feels well, may we take our palms and push our torsos up from out of that sleeping pigeon. I'm tucking that back foot if it was tucked, flowing back to our down dog. Gazing at our feet, maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog, relaxing our hip flexors a little bit here. As we flow to an up dog, just for a couple breaths, heart chakras up, chin slightly up, thighs are off the earth, up dog. Noticing how this feels. Exhale and back down dog. As we come into a three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left leg in the air. As we breathe that left foot forward, coming into a pigeon opposite side, bringing that left foot, crossing it forward. Yes. Bringing that right leg towards the back. Allowing our bodies to flow forward into a sleeping pigeon, using our pillows in front of us if we choose. Eyes are gazed down. Heart chakra melts forward, allowing our bodies to completely relax. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Maybe we can take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. Noticing how that breath felt within the body. As we place our palms flat on the earth, using our palms to push our torsos up away from that thigh. As we softly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Mm. Exhaling back to center as we softly gaze over that right shoulder, maybe connecting our right hand towards our right leg, feeling that spinal twist. Mm -hmm. And if we choose, we can lift up that right leg, connecting our right foot inside of our right hand, coming into a mermaid or a king pigeon. 
keeping in mind that we can use that strap to get into that position. That way we're not overstretching the body. Yet we are still in a pose using straps. With our heart chakra open and our chin slightly up, we're going to hang out here in this pose for five more breaths. If anyone chooses to go down to the sleeping pigeon, feel free to do so. Three more breaths. As we allow that right foot to relax back to the back, we're going to frame that front leg again. We're going to drop our bodies back down to our sleeping pigeon, hanging out here for a couple breaths. Simply taking a moment to check in with the body to ensure we didn't overstretch. Two more breaths. Slowly awakening that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to push our torsos up. I'm tucking that back foot if it was tucked as we flow to that down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we come into a complete forward fold, bringing our feet towards our hands. Complete forward fold, hovering over our thighs. Noticing how this complete forward fold is a nice relaxation pose. You may also feel it behind your thighs and the hamstrings. Allowing the head to completely fall over, maybe flowing into a rag doll, if that feels good for you. Hugging our elbows with our hands. And if we use our balance in our frag doll, maybe slightly yogi walking our feet slightly apart to create balance. Four breaths. Maybe taking in a nice deep breath here in our rag doll. Exhale. Noticing how that breath feels with our heart chakra connecting to our thighs. This is a soothing and relaxing pose. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale into center, coming into half forward fold. Chin slightly up. Noticing how this feels. As we breathe to our Tadasana, bringing our palms at our side. We are in our Tadasana. Maybe pedal on our feet from side to side. Noticing how that feels in the body. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, in our salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. So noticing the difference between the standing salute, palms together, or extended mountain, palms are separated. Extended mountain, if we choose, as we do a standing C-spine, Standing crescent moon, allowing our bodies to lean towards the right, tummies nice and tight, spinal cord is straight. And maybe we can slightly gaze up at our left arm, gazing up at the ceiling, the heavens, shall I say. Opening up that heart chakra, three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Standing crescent moon opposite side, allowing our bodies to lean, filling that C spine as we softly gaze up at our fingertips at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhale into center as we breathe to our standing prayer, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Shoulder blades or shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Eyes are gazed down. Natural breaths. As we hinge at the hips, coming into a forward fold, half forward fold, shall I say. Yes, heart chakra slightly up. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose, we're going to work on the lower parts of our bodies before we end this session here today. So we've got to build some strength. We are in our chair. Feeling this stretch, we can have our hands at heart center or we can extend our palms in front of us. Whatever feels good for you. Five breaths, chair pose. Come into 
coming out whenever you need to. Flow into a forward fold if you need to. Three more breaths. As we chair pose twist, right side, coming into a prayer hands. Chair pose twist, right side. Maybe applying more pressure to the backs of our feet, to the heels of our foot. Noticing the difference of how it feels with pressure towards the back or towards the front. Exhaling back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Playing around here for a couple seconds. Placing pressure to the backs of our feet, shifting our weight to the backs of the heels of our feet. Noticing where we feel it in our thighs as we shift the weight to the front of our foot, the balls of our feet. Noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. Come into center, yes. Exhale, complete forward fold. This is a counter stretch. Taking a nice deep breath here, please. Exhaling. Using a nice deep breath to relax and soothe. Maybe flowing into a rag doll if that feels good. <laughs> Exhaling up to a half forward fold. As we yogi walk our feet, maybe hip distance apart. We're gonna work on a squat here. Coming on down to our squat. Yes, slightly bending our knees. And then now we're not gonna come to a yogi squat yet. We are in a regular squat. And we're going to do a couple of pulses because we just want to get a, a little bit of workouts with the lower parts of our bodies. So pulsing our bodies up and down is a little bit more of an intense squat, but we're running out of time here. So we're going to do five more pulses. Okay, three more pulses, doing a bonus here. As we flow down to our yogi squat, <sighs> bringing our palms at heart center. Using this squat to relax and soothe. We're also working the lower parts of our bodies. Three more breaths. <sighs> Maybe taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. And maybe we can bring our feet closer together, coming into a frog pose. Noticing how we went from that yogi squat to bringing our feet together. The heels of our foot are connecting. We are in our frog. Yes. We can bring our palms at heart center or place our palms on our laps, or we can even do a palms above our head, prayer hands above our heads, extended mountain, whatever you choose. We are in our frog pose. Having fun, working the lower parts of our bodies. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Bonus, two more breaths. As we relax out, falling onto our buttocks, coming into a staff pose, hinging at our hips, heart chakra comes towards our thighs. This is a counter pose to what we just did. Three breaths. Relaxing the body here. Exhale to half forward fold. As we come into a seated position, I am going to come into a cow face, bringing my right leg underneath my next, underneath my left, bringing my left leg across my right cow face legs. Relaxing the body here. We can come into an easy seat, a lotus, half lotus, fire log, whatever you choose as we're using this easy seat to ground our bodies here and settle our bodies. With our core nice and tight, spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders melted down away from our ears, completely relaxing the body. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep breath in, Exhale. As we breathe our palms at heart center, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Three breaths, silent meditation.
we're going to do a bonus of three more breaths, silent meditation. And I would like to take this time to thank you so much for allowing me to guide you here in this practice today. For it truly was a blessing. For it truly was a blessing. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. For self-care is a necessity. It is a must. We cannot pour from an empty cup. We cannot do for others if we do not do for ourselves. And I would like to once again thank you for allowing me to sub the hell we're here today and being with me this morning. I am grateful. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.